kisses the wall. Here we go. Woo. Brian Vickers in the five car right here. Sliding across that infield safety apron. A multiple car crash. Stan, Stan Barrett in the 60 car. Out of your screen right here, number 59. Oh, that's a tire. That's definitely. definitely a right front tire going down. And that's that. It's that's such a horrible. You're going through the turn. You got the thing wide open. You got the wheels turned to the left, and the next thing you know, you're on fire. And the best thing for Stacy right now is that fire is being blown back behind the car. Guarantee you it's getting hot in there. And uh, as he got out of the car, it appeared that his his helmet was. <laughs> it looked all charred up to me. A watch from the right side of your screen. Oh. Got a little help. That was the 10 car of Scott Riggs behind him. Almost got it turned around and straightened up and almost saved that thing. That was a really good job. But you're right, Darrell. Before they paved that, that was about the draft. Where to put that car? Ooh. Oh, 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 that's and, Michael. And around goes Michael. Backs into the wall. Spins off toward the infield grass. Caution is out. Dead. Things got just too tight there. Three abreast off turn four in the driver's door of each one of these cars to help shield that driver from just such an impact. You know, you can uh, do what we call bump drafting here, but you you really can't do it going into the corner. You got to do it on the straightaway. I'm thankful for these replays because if we didn't have this good a replay, you know who would have took the fault for this. Jimmy Vassar being in his first race here at Daytona. In oh, let's see what happened here. Oh, Benton got into him. Yeah. Buford went around. Watch the red 16 come right through there. He yeah, did he, get a little bit of damage yeah, on that left some. front, but it could have been a lot oh. worse. Um, you won't notice that. See him coming off turn four. Oops. 27 car that's hank parker jr there in the red and black car just again it don't you're sliding here anyhow just don't take much to turn your side but away. what happens is you're coming up off the corner and you have and it just causes a big bottleneck see the white car backs up the hill there right in front of hank parker let's see from another angle daryl i think somebody got him first there's the squeeze right there yeah, he gets shoved up the hill. Yeah. He hits the car going by on the outside. 46, Ashton Lewis Jr. Yeah. yeah. Joe Aramendi, oh. I think, was the first car got a piece of it. You know it. what happened to Hank? The 59 car there, he didn't see that. I don't think he may have seen that car because you see what happened there. Shane got turned up by the 16 car, and, and Mike doesn't know that. He doesn't know that the 16 car got into Shane and, and put him up into it. He thought he just drove into Thought him. he drove into him. Probably figured he drove in a corner way too hard and lost it and went into him. I think when Mike sees that, uh, he might not be quite as upset. I mean, just got loose with him coming up well, off turn two. I think he started to get a little bit loose, and then, and then somebody got into him right there. He just, yeah, he just comes down the hill. He's got to run. Man, surely he wasn't thinking he could bump draft him there. Boy, look at those cars there in the outside wall. Just they barely got by. Man, in park, I mean, that's a. You got him. That's a great. Mm. Kane did not have anything to do with that. 91 went in really hard on the outside there, or kind of in the middle, and he just lost control. Remember the guy in Little Abner, Joe Blitzeflick? The guy, there was no vowels in his name, just consonants. You know, this could be another one of those situations where Bingham was going to get out of his way, possibly, start to move down, and uh, didn't realize Bobby was there. Running those speeds, it don't take much to get you out of shape. Bobby's a, quite, a, quite a bit faster than Bingham was coming up on him. Oh, what's wrong with Jeff Burton? Everything. Well, he's coming up on Michael, Michael got in, in the, the wall. wall. Michael, Michael got in the wall again. Yeah. Michael got in the wall, and Kerry didn't quite get checked up enough. He got into Michael. Here comes David Green and the rest of these guys. And that's but, actually the same place Michael got in the yeah, wall just a few just laps ago. Corner under somebody. Point. He actually got into Regan. Regan, who is, a, who is a rookie, was lucky to save it. Yeah. It's another one of those places where you don't need to be trying to do that right mm. there. This early in the race, especially. Oh! Hard crash in the wall. Mike Bliss. Mike Bliss got into him. McMurray got together some way going down through there. Just as they was fixing to turn off in the yeah. turn three. And that was a hard hit. 
I, I just believe with two sets left, we'll see him uh, uh, in pit road. There you see Tim Sauter, the 56 car on the front stretch. Now, what you would like to... That's move, a hard hit on the inside. What it is. What you'd like to see is a green flag pit stop. Here they come at the track. Wow. And it's McMurray. No, it's not. It's Bodine. Not Bodine. Jamie slides across the finish second. Man, two days in a row. Kind of two we... fabulous finishes. He, had, he was sitting on the rim. Ron Young inside of Mon and with Montgomery. Around they go. Of course, Chase Montgomery kissing the wall yesterday in practice. They did actually repair. Think about it. Car in the wall. Caution, caution. No, wait a minute. No caution. So you got some guys slowing down, some guys speeding up. They end up running over each other down here. And, oh, Chad Blunt gets hit by Mike Harmon after being spun. It's just a, ch oh. it's just a chain reaction deal. It looked like Reagan Smith got in the back of Kerry Earnhardt, but it looks like Coy Gibbs in 18 got into the back of Reagan Smith, probably because cars in front of them were starting to check up. Why the lap car? It's Almost looked like the same thing again. Chain reaction, Daryl. It looks like the 48 car checked up. Morgan did not check up, got into the back of 48. I'm sure we'll see it again, maybe a little better view, but it looked like they started stacking up down in three and four. Cars wrecking in one and two after the fact. We're going to get Inspector Clouseau on this. Johnny Sauter up into the wall, comes to arrest. There's the 75 that spun to try to miss him, and there goes Mike Bliss. 75 is Jay Sauter, Johnny's brother. Oh. On lap 45, so he has fairly fresh tires. Yes. He got into Casey Kane, the 38 car. Oh. Caution is going to be out, I think. Break, break. I think the 27 car was in the way. He's been he's been in the way quite a bit. He's tried to stay high. He's tried to stay low, looking for a place so people could go by him. And I think McMurray just closed too fast. But you're right. Man, I tell you what, that's a hard leg. And yeah, Mikey just got into the back of him enough to turn him around. That's just a little bit of impatience. And in Chester, in Indiana, and he's always been good there in an ARCA car. But boy, he's had his terrible weekend oh, here and he was a victim there was no place for him to go as a 16 car and the 77 car got together going off into one and you oh I, no he, yeah, something a, happened. yeah something happened yeah something happened that's the reason he spun out that's the reason it's smoking so bad right now that's not a tire rub no huh? he had an oil line abrupt you know we same thing happened last this is coming off turn two daryl to go down the back stretch oh didn't clear him yeah that's a shame like you say mike you're still on the lead lap he has had who is, I don't know, 30 some laps down. He's been in, in the way quite a bit. And when they get to the corner, because the one's low, one's high, and they just collide right there. It's unfortunate. Yeah, Ron Young got into Wasson. No caution on that one. Pitt got loose. Oh, yeah. See what happened was he got loose. 38 got loose. Ron was coming, couldn't get out behind him quick enough. That's just a product of catching a guy, and there's nowhere to go. Here's what happened to Damon Lusk. Top of your screen. Yeah, he just got in that corner too high. Uh, again, there's not a lot of room out there right now to, to try to work around somebody. Back in the field is where you're going to have problems. It's a very wide racetrack, Darrell, but boy, we're hitting your marks. With Aramendia on the bottom. Bobby Hamilton was trying to work his way around. Aramendia! Who spins? Bobby Hamilton's oh, Hamilton hits it hard, too. Took Bobby with him. Matt Kenseth goes down pit road, comes to the rest of the field, and they're all waiting to see where the caution is out. Race. More on that later. Here's a look at what happened to Gunselman. Car just came around with him. And Bingham avoids him. I mean, that is a hard lick. A very hard lick. You see one of his rear springs bouncing across the infield. You know, Lance Norick. Just down. Morgan Shepard turns him. That car, Darrell, didn't look like it was carrying a lot of speed off the corner, though, Norick's car. No, they were having, there was a real bottleneck over there, very similar to when we had the lead change. And coming off of two, if you can't get back to the gas, and the other guy does, he's closing at a high rate of speed. Oh, out of 77. Corner. Oh, she just come loose. Oh, oh boy, goodness. that's a hard hit. Goodness gracious. Right in front of uh, Joe Nemechek. I think when he get down here, Mike tries to go to the inside. Got some bump from the back. 
That's Ashton Lewis hitting him hard. Another lead lap car. There you see Coy Gibbs getting the back of Ashton Lewis. Nowhere to go. There's Vickers, the five. He's right in the middle of it. Gets oh, hit gets twice. Bounced around like a pinball. Is that Rudiman at the top of the frame? Gonna hurt me here. Whoop. Oops. Regan Smith and Sadler, I believe, made contact. See. Oh, something happened right there. That something happened with 21 car. 21 Johnny car. Sauter. Yeah. It's not her. If something happened, shot him down across the apron. They started checking up and behind him. Darryl. Almost looked like he was trying to get out of the way, and uh, somebody got into the back of him in the process. It's running Hornaday, and that second pack will catch him. Whoa! Oh, Max oh, Montgomery oh, gets oh, to the oh, side oh, of McMurray. Across the grass, across pit road. The roof flaps put him back on the ground. That car was fixing to take off, and those roof flaps deployed it, put him back on the ground. And the best thing they ever did was pave all this right through here. Call I think we got an engine problem. That's uh, Chase Montgomery smoke prior to starting to spin. Then the tire smoke, yeah, smoke coming out of the tailpipes there as he's backwards against the wall. And that's really what caused the second part. You, these guys got in the oil, the 49 car. He, he slid in the oil, got up into the outside wall. And uh, very fortunate, the leaders just got by there. Randy LaJoy, Scott Riggs. There's Bobby Hamilton Jr. He's doing all he can do to avoid. Three. Like his car might have got nudged just a bit. Hard, hard impact into the outside wall. Looks like he turns down in the corner trying to get in behind Bobby Jr. And uh, Mike Bliss was there. Couldn't quite see on that shot who it was that possibly made contact or Randy turned it in there and the back end just came out from underneath him. Boy, now how that 59 car kept from spinning out, I'll never know. He should have been the one that he spun out. He should have been out. the one that spun, yeah. And I think what happened is Stanton realized he was going to get into him, started trying to get off of him, and spun his own self out. And as per usual, this caution changes everything. Yeah, I mean, this caution, we talked about who it, who it hurt. All well, these guys get sideways, get turned around down here. Possibly the 16 car, Larry Gunsman got in the back of Mike Carmen in the 44. But you want to see how slick it is? What's the, I can't see which car that is, but he, has, he can't stop. 49, Chris Bingham. And just bangs into the 16 Waterloo car. I don't know, but the wheels are already oh, just came around yeah. with just it. lost it on entry. Got out there in that little just high. a little too wide. Yep. Of course, he was he was driving desperate, like desperation, trying to stay on the lead lap. The Compton got into, yep, into the 75 of Jay Sauter. Remember, Stacy was back there because he came to pit road because he thought he was overheating. Right now, heavy traffic. I've been watching. Oh, there goes a car around Todd Bodine. Turn two. Oh, hey, on the outside wall. Caution is out. Of the night for Troy Klein. It's so hard here. I, I know it's a three-quarter mile racetrack, but boy, you, they got a pretty tough decision. Let's watch the replay right here. Same deal. I mean, Rusty Darrell was talking earlier. It's like this racetrack is just the right width or the wrong width that when you turn around, you're going to hit on the driver's side. You got Uh-oh. There's what happened. Yep. Grubb definitely had some help. I think that's, I think it's Stremmy. I'm not positive. That was the one car. <laughs> Where'd that come from? That had to be it. Uh, Casey Kane got up Patterson against, I think that was Hamilton Jr. Went around. Oh, he just kissed the wall. Oh, trouble. Here we go. Round in turn four. Backed it in. Oh, Ashley Ashley Lewis. Lewis. oh more trouble. Todd Bodine. The 34, Mike McLaughlin. He's got a lot of front end damage, and uh, he was having a great run. We should have a closer shot of that. Oh. Looks like he may have gotten a little bump from the rear there by Brian Vickers. Brian just had a little more steam, more momentum on the bottom of the racetrack, it looked like, and they both came to that same dreaded intersection again. Hornaday turned around. Ooh. There's Vickers. I believe that was Shane Mill in the 48 car that got into the back of him, Darrell. I think it might have been. That was kind of like you. 
it looks like he just couldn't get back to the throttle and he had to check up a little bit and when he did Kevin Grubb in the 26 got in the back of it. Making his way. This is a into turn two I believe there. He's got his hand out the window there. He trying to get into the pits. No he was uh, letting know. Right. Yeah I don't have any control here but uh, <laughs> That's a tough deal. He knew he was having a problem. That's why he's waving his hand, letting that car go by on the inside. Seen back there, he just all of a sudden the car just comes around with him and backs hard into the fence. Steve Burns. This was a battle for position with Mike Bliss. Yeah, he just gets it around right there. He knows he knows that uh, Bliss is coming. Probably got back in the gas. It's a little too early. But turn four. I mean, that has been havoc for so many teams here getting loose and spinning out. We've seen it all day long. We saw it yesterday. There this he car goes. just came around, got loose with him. Drove it in there probably a little too hard and uh, the car just got loose. Boy, Joey Clanton in the 27 car, he had to get all the way on the apron to get below him. I think they, I'm not sure Clanton missed him completely. He oh. did get a little bit of damage. Brushed him. That is a hard lick. First caution of the day out after just nine laps. In that pack on the right side of your screen is the third car in that pack. There is no question what happened to that oh, car. Baby. Right front tire just went down on it. Hounded it. In the 92 car, he is on pit road right now. That is happening so fast right there coming off turn two. I mean, that was a hard lick on the inside that pit wall or that wall. All right, so it is David Stremme in the number one. Oh, he gets hit by Vickers. Kent Kenseth may have missed a shift. Yeah, because he's going to lose two positions. Brian Vickers in the five is going to take the lead, but boy, Kenseth comes back in a hurry. He's going to keep the Turn one. Back. Kerry Earnhardt down on the apron along with Dave Blaney. Caution. Here's another look. Now that's second place, Joe Nemechek right behind him. I mean, normally you go all the way to the bottom of the racetrack and hit that inside wall just like we saw David Stremme earlier. Kevin Carter gets a bump. Uh, somebody gets up under him and sends him around and I, I can't tell you who it was but that was a hard lick that's like uh, it's almost like boilerplate wall it's a battle for fourth Matt Kenseth oh, right now fresh tire boy around goes Truex a snap spin yeah, what happened was he just drove the thing in there so hard trying to stay up with Matt Kenseth again the caution is out this will be five to go right here right now we will situation just like I said uh, I guess I wasn't wrong this time, but yeah, he got up high and uh, you can see the concrete dust and you can see uh, that there's no rubber there and uh, no grip. Here's a second look. Hornaday didn't give him a whole lot of room and he was really trying to get on it, get up beside him and Hornaday got down in the corner good and one of those deals, man. Isn't that what they always say in racing? Uh, it just racing. You see, you see that little turn there at the start finish line. And Kerry Earnhardt turned just after the start finish line. Again, maybe contact between him and Todd Bodine. And McCoy Gibbs, he goes down in the corner. I don't know, maybe Coy got uh, the air off of him. Went for a ride. Stanton Barrett, it looks like, squeezed by the inside. A good save for him. That is Kerry Earnhardt that ticked the back bumper. <laughs> Coy Gibbs and Kerry just come out onto the racetrack 68 laps down. Here's a second look. Hey, look. Now working his way by David Stremme. He takes over the number one spot and Whoa. now those two get together. Oh. Sauter finds the wall here on the front stretch. Caution flag 11 is out for Johnny Sauter spinning down through the grass. Concrete is just not very forgiving. I thought that maybe he would uh... and take a look at this. A very lucky moment for Scott Riggs. He ducks down low. Oh my God. Goodness. That, that was too close for comfort. Mike Harmon getting pushed up there, and we saw Kerry Earnhardt in by Teague. He didn't want to be the meat in the sandwich there. Looks like he got out of the gas, and the, the back end snapped around him. Boy, that was a very hard hit. You saw the back tires come up off the ground. That was a hard hit. In qualifying, these guys were going 170-plus miles an hour. Gets back on the tail of the lead lap. Ron Hornaday, oh, oh, no. they spin. Oh. 
Larson is out. Larson is out. Lap 164. Yeah, there's Larry Holland back in the 62 car going around and around, and I don't know what caused, unless Bliss had backed off to avoid the spinning car and someone hit him in the back. Well, thank goodness no one's making a pit stop. Adjustment and an air pressure adjustment. Oh. Last stop as Casey Kane spins. Sixth place runner in trouble. Oh, don't go that way. John, the brake on. Hey, I'll tell you what. with the outside retaining wall. So everybody behind it did a good Here job of going. that. There we see Earnhardt in the 12 car spinning off the corner. Don't know what might have caused it, but someone is going to, oh, right there, the... Ashton Lewis. Ashton Lewis in 46. No place to go. Well, I'm sure as a driver, that's the last... Right, but it was a, it was a extremely hard impact, and I saw uh -oh. the truck hit care right in front of the driver, and I just that scared me. So uh, I hear he's he's okay. He walked out of the car, so that that's the good news. I mean, that's that's all that matters. It's not about anything else other than Gary's all right. So what was that? What, what was that all about? Time, guys. That's what happened to Menard. Now the continuation. Oh, he got hit. Yeah, somebody did get into him. Brad Teague in the 53 got into Gunselman and. Car Bush series start. Yeah, a I little think, bit of help there. I think old Bill got some help from back there in the white car. That would be Josh Richardson that got him turned around in the 67. So the eight tires is better than four theory there. I'd like to see oh, that again. Right around he goes. I was going to say, it looked like Hamilton drove him up there on that deal, and obviously had a disagreement there. End of the crash there. I don't see any other cars around Barfield. Oh, look look at how that. high that thing was up in the rear. Ouch. So under caution with 53 laps to go. And here's the leader, Hamilton Jr., and it happened right in front of him. That's Clements in the 71. All by himself. First around. Now, I don't... Gunselman got down on the, apron, the apron trying to avoid the accident. Oh. I think Pickers just didn't know which way to go. Colorful. Here we go. Here, oh, we, here go, we go. Here we go. And it happened. Bliss with the payback. It happened. And Hamilton Jr. into the outside wall. In the corner, he's going to get loose. Oh, trouble. Oh. Or he's going to get the 59 loose. <laughs> Compton with the slide oh, for life. Nice oh, save. just caught the fender there coming back around. Caution flag is out. It happened. That's him trying to get under the 58 car. Just got in the corner a little bit too hard. Make contact and both cars back around the fence. And Stacy Compton had no place to go except in the wreck. That, that happens a lot here, though, Benny. Oh. There we see him making contact, going down in the corner. Mm -hmm. Kyle's going to feel bad about that. Yeah, Kyle's been doing a great job racing here this year. He's either crying or smiling ear to ear right now with one lap. Oh, oh contact! The synchronized spins in turn three in the race for third place. The white flag is out. The caution has not waved. If we can see what happens here, you, yeah, he just broke, just broke loose, all by himself. Tires all look up. Yeah, and you're right. The sign painters are going to be working overtime tonight out there in the grass. When he is. This one right here? Nope. Nope. Wrong answer. He just lost it, didn't he? Looks like he just got loose coming off the corner and just barely backed it in the fence. Car Bush series season, and this is just a case of wrong place, wrong time here. That's right. Tim Fito in the 12 car gets in the back of Shane Meal. The 20 car Bliss backed up, gets bumped behind by Johnny Sauter. So the first caution is out in the Food City 250 at Bristol Motor Speedway. Ooh, see a lot of cars wrecking. That's Jeff Fuller in the 87. Couldn't tell if he got turned or... Everybody checked up? Looks like he checked up. And I think he just jammed on the brakes yeah. to run in the back of the other cars and the car, the brakes locked and he spun out. 
just off of uh, turn two. Got zero cars. Jay Summers looks like a little contact there. Yes. Oh, and she gets it sideways, and boy, it comes back and catches that right front hard. Caution's out for debris, but there's also trouble in turn four. Oh. Greg Biffle. Check it out. Joey Clanton, 27. Dunselman in 16. He's going to come back up the racetrack right in front of Biffle. Oh, man. That's the second car Clanton got into tonight. Mm -hmm. First trip here to Bristol. Not making too many friends. <laughs> they get fired up and going. Okay, let's see who he... Oh! Ashton Lewis. On the straightaway. Some contact. Just barely rubs the wall. He stood on it, though. He did, didn't he? Kept it off the wall. Barely touched it with the right rear. Okay, spray. Stop. There's the leader going there through, go. so that's where he lost the lap. And right in front of the leaders, a lot of the guys that will be the leaders. Right, he was right in the middle of David Green and Ted Musgrave. A little help from Shane Meal to get things started. And the caution is out for the seventh time tonight here at Bristol. Oh, high marks from the judges. Looks like he got some help in the one car. locking it down to keep from piling in. Wound up spinning himself out. The green car. Looks like Mark, is that Mark Truex that yes. got the back of David? Yes, it is. Look at it. I mean, David's got it. He's got it. All right, I got it saved. Uh, whew, that was a close one. Oof. That hard of a hit. No, it didn't. Jamie off the floor. That car. the screen. Markle's into the wall. Wow. Whoa. Almost on the side. Man, that was exciting. How'd you like to look down and see the pavement in your driver's side window? No. You don't like that? No. That looked like one of those thrill show rides there. Man. Good. say about that is talk speak for itself really yeah, he just got on the apron of the racetrack when he came back came back on the racetrack a car was there and he looks like he did it all by himself oh. that would be a richmond rookie lesson oh we get to ride on board oh. up here He's i can feel up. a bump getting on yeah he got kneeled yes he did and that's going to leave a mark. Side tires, and he's trying to get down pit lane, but he's got all these cars coming. And Mike Bliss. Or Mike Bliss. Nowhere to go. Ends up on top of him. That was Jay Sauter that caught a piece of Bliss going by. You got now, it. Uh -oh. Oh. Shane Meal. Make that four talent. Oh, oh he we gets go. Jason Keller hard into the wall. Caution is out. Boy, there's a lot of debris down oh. there, too. Oh, oh, oh. easy. Jake. Woo. Talking about that high line, a little loose, a little slick. Look at the dust. And look at the dust, yes. Uh-oh. Like a pin, you're like a pinball back there. You slide off the top, hit the inside, and you just what he did, slide right here. Scott Riggs with a little pressure on David Green. Oh, did he tap him? I'm behind him. David Strummy spins. David Green, the championship leader, is into the wall and hit again by his brother Jeff. Sorry, in the one inside of Brian Vickers in the five. Oh, we got, oh, we got some trouble. Uh-oh. Damon Lusk into the wall. Caution's out. Hit the wall. He's spun and hit the wall. Out right of two. He got yellow. He got yellow. He got it. 
loose. There's not a lot of grip up in that outside lane for the two car of Hornaday. I don't think there's a lot of damage to the two. Do you, Jimmy? No, I don't. He may have just touched it. Um, I mean, it looks like the car settled into the track loose, and he chased it, obviously, to the top and rode it for a long time, fighting it all the way to the bit, bitter end. Didn't hit anything, and... He's in the top lane. There he is on the outside, and it just goes in the corner, and... A lot of dirty air, and, the, in there. and Leffler just kind of spun to avoid... He backed off the throttle quickly, which spun the double zero out. Casey Mears on the lead lap, put us one lap down behind the leader, so we need to thank him. That's right, Larry Mack. Thank everybody. Casey came Daddy, got a piece of come in and, and, uh, Is there anything we can do? We got time. It looked like the 29 was around the right rear of the 12. Sauter. I don't know if he and Mike Wallace got involved or not. I don't think so. I, th I was looking up there, Alan. I think he just lost the car by himself. And we see the fire inside the trunk, which sets off the fire extinguisher. And I think it worked. You were starting to say Hamilton Jr. is gaining on the 99 about that time. And then that right front tire <sighs> disintegrates. That's the first right front problem we've seen here, this mm -hmm. track. In the black car. Tried to come to the bottom of the racetrack. Larry Gunselman was there, and then Biffle got hit from behind when he jumped on the brakes. Yeah, Chad Blount really didn't have anywhere to go, but unfortunately. Ashton Lewis pitted under the last caution. He had fresher tires. Yep. He got a little bit of help. He got turned around. Ooh. Huh. Take a look. Ooh. Hard to tell what happened there. Man. You think he may have had a little help? Got a little bump there. We don't have any cars a lap down. Well, looks, looks like, like Stacy. Yeah, Stacy got in there and got a little bit loose getting in, and he was kind of sideways through there, and then all of a sudden it stacked up behind him. The 43 car, that would be what you call a loose race car. And he has gone off the track, not hit anything, brought out the caution flag for the eighth time in the race. Not good. In the 20. I wonder if ooh, I wonder if something didn't happen a couple corners before that that made Mike run into the back of him there. Mm. Boy. He's hoping right now that nobody T-bones him. Mm. We've got lad calls in the morning. Just goes in on the outside and gets her loose. See what happened to Billy Boat. Oh, he had a little help there from the 43 car. Whoa. The 43 car almost became involved. There's Casey Kane in 38 car. Oh. Little cut. Oh. Stacy Compton turned around. Caution is out. You can feel it coming, couldn't you, Benny? Good. You can just see that coming. You know, they made the, the exit to turn too wider, but on wore out tires, it's not wide enough. <laughs> Bottom of the screen. Just broke loose. Getting in. And one of the point cars, like the 70s, just slid up the racetrack. He's on the edge anyway. Oh, this would be a good look at. He it. goes high. Oh, he just ran up on the back of the zero, and with those fresh tires, the closure rate was so fast. Yeah. He just closed in so fast, he had to avoid missed the hit in the double zero. The wall was there. Oh, he's coming on in. I'm done. We'll look at. Whoa, oh, wait a minute. Maybe he does have a problem. He just came in with too, with too much speed on the access road. Now he spun out, and he did spin. And now trouble behind him. Derek Hayes gets right. spun around in the traffic jam. Look out, Derek. And Hang on, baby. Hang on. The there you go. The caution flag is out. 